Hello everyone, this is Serious Trivia. Welcome back to another episode of our legendary pacifist Coral Let's Play. We continue for episode 16 from turn 118 in the winter season of 213. So, as we pick things back up, we just have to do the buildings, I think, and this turn is pretty much wrapped. Then we have the end turn nightmare down in the Naman territories, but what can we do? Right, so let's get this going. All right, that's just basically all the building slots we have for this. Let's go. I think most of the corruption is... Oh, I lied. I thought most of them were done. I mean, if we have to cancel some buildings, we'll cancel some buildings. Looks pretty good. Okay, we have 5k. We have one spice, and I don't think we're getting any more, so we're going to get the mixed income here. Guangling, we just picked up. Actually, let's not build it, because we're going to give it away. Luoyang is almost the same situation. I think we're probably going to end up creating a vassal here. Once we have the connections, maybe, to get ourselves a trade deal, or we can trade it as a building to Liu Bei, for example, um, to pick up somewhere. I mean, we could go north, technically. All right, we can get a piece of Sihe from him, perhaps. All these maybes. We'll find out. The former capital of the Han Dynasty, or a fishing village. Yeah, it's doable. It's definitely doable. It doesn't benefit us that much. I mean, having this port opens up potential future trades if we ever connect Hedong to the rest of our territory, mainly to the capital. Question mark. Yeah, not sure if it's worth our time. I'm going to hang on to it for now. Wang Ling's situation is once we take Zhang Chao's land, we'll liberate it and we can get a trade deal from the port. That's a good goal. Everyone is sieging. Yeah, just look on, look down here and start crying. They're going to attack us and we're going to have to go for a peace deal again. Although they're pretty weak. This is the army that will do the attack. I doubt they come out again. We'll see. The spy situation was great, now it's slightly less great, mainly because Gong Sun Zan's spies got killed. I don't think he killed them, I think they, they legit died in battle, which is fine. Um, she's not willing to turn. I think next turn, we don't have enough to discredit faction, that's the thing. So in two turns, it's still a plus eight. In two turns, we'll be at 54 which is not enough to push for the surrendered territory. So it's tough. We're gonna have to wait three turns, but then, yeah, we'll see. We'll probably gamble. We probably wouldn't get the territory first because he's our only spy. I might gamble with a discredited faction. I have big dreams of taking multiple characters here. So we'll see if we can make that happen. Anyhow, let's go through this mess. Assuming we can't build anything, which I think is true, actually. I think everything is good. Yeah, we'll keep some spare change in case we want to buy buildings in the future. Oh, right, I guess if we have enough, we should take the small regional here. Okay, we'll get that done. Let's go. On the bright side, we're going to get the tea, peacefully, hopefully. Oh. Do we want to jump into this war right now? Well, this is interesting, actually. Hmm. It's a chance to grab the Emperor's seat without 
officially declaring war. But it is still a bit weird. Because now is not the greatest time to go to war with him. Hmm. You know what? I think you'll make things interesting. We'll go for it. That means the capital at Goliang is our number one target now. We're going to be pumping money into armies there to make it happen. Wait, what? Are we stuck here? Oh, phew! I was like, same guy asked twice? Right, so we're going to just time them out here. We'll cut this part out. Alrighty, so we survived through another one. We didn't capture anyone. It's fine. We only have to do this three more times. Yeah, three next turn. Uh, I mean, we have our armies pressed up right against his last two settlements. He has no armies on the field. Yet he's only giving us 1.8. I mean, the swing is technically pretty big, right? Recent loss, 7.4. He just can't give me anything except for death that I would even accept. Yeah. No. No deal. All right, this is the key. We did not expect to go to war with Gong Sun Zhan this early. We thought we had to join one of the kingdoms to get it to work as a vassal, but I think we can skip that step now. The made us a bow, okay. Not what we were looking for, but we'll take it. We will starve out. That's the only thing we can do. It's spring again, so there's there's a couple things we can do. Now their army pulled back for some reason. It doesn't matter. They're most likely going to attack us again. Um, I, I don't think it's strong enough to take a settlement, although this would be an open field fight, so they actually would have a chance. But that's not what we're concerned about. We're concerned about how do we take this? I know his army's not here because we saw it in the water. And that means he's probably going to land and attack one of our cities. That's another concern. Getting attacked from behind. We do have one of his spies, and we could flip him if we have enough points on him. Hmm. Giving Xiao Hou Dun more movement. Boosting our industry. That's definitely the way to go. Depleting the settlement supply so they attrition more. I'll take that. Oh, we can boost commerce as well. I know we can get much more range. Uh, it's That's actually quite a big boost on our crossbowmen. But I don't think we need this. I need more money. Increasing garrison level. Badung. Badung is very safe. Skill reset. What level is she? It's probably not important. Yeah, her skills are pretty good. I mean, I'll take it. Increasing wall damage. We get a couple instant deployables. I mean... Let's mess with his army. Alright, we'll take this. Our income shoots up. I really... Ooh! Not because I care about Han Xing's faction. I care it's that Yuan Shu. Willing to be a turncoat. I'll take him. Anyone else refugeeing out west? No, it's just him. He just misses home. He wants to come back to us. That's fine. It seems like they don't have any spy defense. That's the appearance of it. Han Xing doesn't have a lot of land. Like, looking at the situation, he probably just has... Oh, Liu Bei has that. Oh, wow. Han Xin has something over here.
I'll just take him. I don't need him to take up a spot. Okay, nothing there. So with him, it's really about saving up enough points to flip him. There's not much we can do with her anymore. They only have... I mean, they don't have the main holding out here. That's the problem. So I can't flip the administrator out here. So like with her, it's also like maybe we should just summon her back. She's also not on the field, so she's not influencing any battles. And there's really no one left in the faction. So... I actually want to disown her. I don't, I don't, oh, she might have armor. No, I don't, I don't know. That doesn't look like... Maybe a bronze armor? That doesn't look like default armor. I mean, we can take a look, I guess. Alright, here's where we have... Most of our characters. Like most of our points. I just don't know if we can get second person. No, we can't. Can we get Okay, let's let's hit her. She's not willing to do anything. Let's hit her. She's not willing to do anything. Let's hit him. Yeah, we hit everyone. And there's nothing. Nothing he can do. Pursue military. Yeah, that's the best we can do. Put Let Liu Bei put him in the army and then ask for administrator position and then try to flip a piece of land. Okay, now it's how we play defense against Gong Sun Zan. Well, he could strike anywhere, right? He could technically strike Lin Hai, which is easier to defend. Uh, if we just put a general here. This he would need to siege. So this is where I would probably want to put a general. I definitely want to take this. So we're going to summon the army here first. We'll let Trumpu come out. He had this job earlier. We canceled it because it was wasting money. I didn't think we'll get into a fight anytime soon. Okay, so the only other character, I mean, other than Wang Long, Chen Gong, Xu Hua, Lu Zhi as well. I guess we'll just grab her, because she has the units ready. We don't have to spend money on the units. I mean, re redeployment is like, so basically the same army. Same exact army. Get two more percent here. So instead of four turns, it's three turns. And then there's the sieging time. I'm going to steal the garlic. We actually have all three. Oh, the sec uh, we should have just equipped the first one because now it's the cooldown. The other one's blocking the cooldown. This one, if that makes any sense. But um, yeah, essentially they're going on cooldown together. So I can't add anything in the entire pile. I mean, regardless, we still got the extra from that one. Tending secretary. I think we're fine. Yeah, we can do this instead. He had a title. I mean, he's also administrator now. Oh, so that. Never mind, never mind. He was boosting income, so he can't change. I'll have her change. Yeah, every little bit counts. Right, so we have one army here. Like I said, someone needs to be here. Sun Quan, guard the south. 
He's picked because he has meditation. He should be enough to stop them. Okay, so we are probably going to come under pressure over here as well. So ideally... We, okay, we are out of seasonal deployment, so we pump out army over here next turn. This was the army that we pumped out to stop the attack there. They stopped coming. We can move up. We're trying to go here. Because all these have been sieged. I could also come take care of Taima over here. But I think this is better. Right, we have military access with him. So we'll slip across, attack Chen. Probably trade it to Toto afterwards. And then we'll come over here. Montreal's on the run. Okay. We are also now at war with Zhang Yan. He could come through... I mean, he would have to get through the pass. No? Yeah, he would have to... Actually, I don't know how this pass works. Does it only block this side and not this side? The problem here is how long the siege will take. It, it literally doesn't matter. It's all about this. It's 10 turns. Yeah, that's kind of ridiculous. But... Yeah, but it's fine. Like, unless Zhang comes to attack us, then we pull back. Yeah, it is what it is. This playstyle is meant to be hard. Alright, so we're good everywhere else. The sieges continue. Five turns, five turns, four turns. It's no longer coming out. There's no more officers inside. Demand surrender. So we can either go for this, but I'm most likely going to go for this first. Next time. By then we'll have all these settlements. Okay, I wonder if I should save the money, although I'm getting 37k next turn, which is more than what we had coming in. So we probably could spend. Alright, we're pretty much at zero now. Yeah, I mean, he's changed, he's going down to 4.2, but really doesn't give us anything. Seventy-four point six, huh? You have to say. Yeah, we'll have a point four. I think we will confederate him. Actually, pick up some more food. We can trade it for him to him for some. Oh, actually, we don't even have to trade it to him. We can trade it to Tal Tal if we want. And maybe get something back from Tal Tal. Maybe Donghai. Right, that way we keep this side. Tal Tal keep this side. We keep this all clean. Okay, so first we have to do some gifting. Yeah, it would it will work. How bad is it still? Only minus 9. Supporting our allies in war is helping it. But that also goes away. Wait, why did it time out? Uh, no, no, not you. You. Okay. 
欢迎，朋友。这是你我友谊的象征。很高兴与你见面。Seems like we also have a food deal with him, so that would get cancelled out. 耐心才会有所收获。And I gotta check if we're able to raise some taxes, cause potentially we want to. Make a bit more money with war against the kingdom here. Now, because he has two emperor seats, once we do pick up the first one, and if we do beat him down a little, maybe we can force him to abdicate. That'd be the most ideal diplomatic solution. But because we can't aggressively fight, it's hard to control. Like. How big of a burst we can destroy his armies to get favorable balance of strength、uh, to make the abdicate happen. So it's kind of out of our control. He has to lose hard everywhere in a short span of turns. Point four, right on. It's a good solution to a faction that we were at war with. A bandit girl. Oh no, she's she has bandit units. She is not a bandit general though. She must have inherited this from another general. That's weird. I mean, clearly this looks like Huangzhu's daughter, and clearly we don't need to keep her. Huangzhu has a pretty big family. Okay. Thank you for your items. We might use him, but his skill tree is also kind of bad in terms of the, where the location of the skills are. So I think it's probably better if we just get rid of them. And also, after what happened with turncoats or spies from factions that we inherited, I'm a little hesitant to keep people. All right, Cao Cao can have that. It's not exactly useful for us. And nope, don't hide. Twenty. Hmm. I mean, we basically traded to Kongzhou for fun. Doesn't really give us anything. Here, we can give it to him. Okay, so maybe what we want is actually Lu Jiang, and then we're just hoping he gets another trade deal, right? That's kind of the the goal here.、Uh, giving stuff to Cao Cao could backfire. So I don't want to give him stuff that's too good. I prefer to give him cash. Yeah, that's that's the debatable part, right? If we don't give him good stuff, he's gonna want more cash. And we actually need our cash right now. Yeah, that's the main problem. What if I give him another piece of land, like this farmland? Giving more farmland to Cao Cao, he benefits a lot from it, but. Or maybe we give him the toolmaker. Like as long as we stay on his good side, it's not really gonna hurt us. Okay, this is much more manageable in terms of the deals. We are giving up some income from the toolmaker. But it was a piece of land that we were going to give away when we make Huainan as a vassal, anyway. So, not a huge loss.、But、why can't we get it? There we go. Some somewhere just right. 
，心怀坦诚，则你我牢不可破。It's not like we want to keep this either. I just want to give her faction a potential trade access in case she could trade with us in the future. And she's really negative food, so. The goal is not to actually feed her. I mean, the fishing port should help, but just to get 15 points here. And then we're just praying she gets trade access in the future. 78. Okay. Well, we would want to take at least one Emperor seat first. Is that all? I think that's all we can really do. We can't do any more deployment, which really bumps us out because we could just lose our northern holdings. Aside from that, well, you guys don't like us anymore? We have a food deal. Yeah, no one's really going to become our vassal. I don't know where he's going to go, but it really doesn't matter. Just got to wait three more turns. Oh, they bump into our ambush. We can't take this one because it'll be attacking. So we have to actually withdraw. Oh. They pull the reinforcement group. Okay, so the delegate actually does not favor us. Which is a bit weird. I actually like this army. We get a chance to empty out the garrison. We gotta take this. Like, what's so scary about this group? Two tigers? Is that a oh, level 6 general? I mean, we gave them weapons. I'm level 5. I have... Hold on. I have Wisdom River. Yeah, we can do this. I mean, this probably helps us speed up, will potentially take the city if we kill all the garrison. It's a big dream, but um, we have a few cavalry, so it's, it's possible. It's definitely possible. We're getting flanked. That's a bad part about this. But we could probably just put our units here and let them gather. Hmm, the tough part is the AI is not really going to work with us. And what most likely happens, they will just charge in and then we have to deal with the forest. We can light it on fire. I actually think the best move is target this group. And ignore the back side. We target the tiger side. Fire for sure. And we just keep it, yeah, in, in firing range from the beginning. And this back side that's going to approach us is all infantry. Maybe we do something like this. A little bit of flatter land. And then we keep the juggernauts facing the side away from the tigers. And just have them blast away the enemy infantry trying to come from behind. And we have archers on this side. We have a few frontline units. Just to take the tigers charge. And then if we really dream big, these guys will be on the back side pursuing every single unit. Maybe coming out of the forest to do so. Maybe we hide deeper. And then basically let them walk here, blast them with fire, charges in, hit them a bunch of times. Okay, I mean, we can dream big. And then these guys will help against that general first, and we'll go from there. We got a bunch of fight. This is the army that I think could get things done. Pound it. Or actually, pound there. Can I duel? Yes, I can. Okay, it says, you know, equal, but we're going to sway things with abilities here. Oh, 
Oh, there's tigers though. I will want to duel closer to me. Or else I can't run my generals up there to use Wisdom River because the tigers will just eat up my generals. Okay, so they're coming. We want to show on this side to drag them across. Yeah, we're once again micro on two side. We gotta stop doing this. It's not good. I'm obviously not dueling him. I think we're doing a decent job of the auto aiming. I mean, these are level what level two? Yeah, it's not very high level. And the tigers are obviously going to be unbreakable, and they're going to do whatever they want. That's not really the thing that we have to worry about. Hmm, we are missing pretty hard. Archers active? Okay, good. They don't have a lot of morale already, so that's kind of the goal. If we can land just one good hit here... That's good enough, actually. I'll take that. And that unit will rout. So this is where things will get interesting if our flamethrowers can hold this front. We're only interested in killing everyone on this side. Alright, I'll go. Come on, don't disappoint! Torch them! Look at that health! I'll go help. Yeah, they're gonna get into melee hits. That's fine. That's not the problem. They avoided that group. The Juggernaut did his job. Alright, we're gonna get out because Tiger's coming. Alright, we're gonna help the front line win this fight first. We will pursue. We have enough cavalry. I feel like we can probably pursue enough. Let's kill the living guys first. I think we're gonna have plenty of time to chase the others. Alright, the rear charge is happening. Stay on him, stay on him, ignore this guy. Okay, so they're routing. Stay on that, stay on that. Go attack over here. Use this when we can. Keep pursuing. Okay, actually, you need to join the pursuit party now. There's too many little units running around. We might actually be able to kill off the entire garrison. I, I see some hope. Uh, this front line side is messed up. We're gonna swap these over. Not been microing these guys. Chase, ch oh, we're losing to Nunmon. What is going on there? Actually, no, no, no. Let them lose. Let them lose. We need to just chase. Make sure they kill everyone here. Make sure you kill everyone here. He's done killing them. Chase the next group. Chase the next. Actually, that's one unit. One unit's fine. Yeah, they beat them. Weird. It's okay, just just take a take an empty pursuit. Okay, so he's on top of it. We're gonna win this duel. Awesome. Everyone has their target. 
Yeah, Holdwin has one. Yeah, definitely kill the 18, four, seven. Kill the seven. Yeah, these are unbreakable, so they're gonna take a while. Let's fight this, you fight this. Blow fire on this guy. Shaohodun should stay on... I, I believe this guy? And this guy? This guy. This guy's from the garrison. This guy's from the garrison. Yeah, I gotta keep track of who's who. I think this is definitely from the garrison. They clashed onto the original spear units. Oh, go get them. That four-man group. That group, that group. Wait, there was a archer group. The slinger. Okay, so I think it's gonna be his job after we kill this last couple. These guys have such slow. Oh, tiger's disrupting them. Okay, I was like, it's taking them forever to kill these guys, although there's only two left. I think it's this group. Did you kill? I'm not sure, I can't see. Okay, so he killed everyone. He killed everyone. They're just unbreakable. I I think we actually will kill everyone. And we'll take this we'll take the settlement faster than we anticipated by like five turns. And all because they decided to move an army to attack us. Yeah, we're still gonna... Wait, 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 wait. I think two is gonna be fine, but just in case. Go, 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 go. Okay, they killed everyone. I think we targeted everything. Yeah, I'm still hesitant to go increase speed because what if we misclick somewhere? Okay, you guys go here. I don't think that's the that's not the garrison group. There's no javelin spear guard in the garrison. But still. I, I actually think we killed everyone in the garrison. Alright, you come here actually. I don't understand why the unbreakable unit is just I guess it's skirmish mode. Kill them all. All 
right, I think we're good. Fire definitely helps so much. Fire and cavalry. Yeah, look at how many kills we got in Juggernaut. Uh, not facing them to the tiger side, because I think zero, 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 zero. <gasps> Wait, that's how many he killed, not how many's left. I think I think we take the settlement. Yeah, one guy got away, which should be just a wipe. And we caught a general. We get a, we get execute. Uh, oh wait, we're given a decisive this time. We're taking it. Do we wipe everything? Oh, come on, let us wipe everything. Why let them keep some? And also executing him. Oh, well, that's at least we don't have to loop there. Trust me, I don't want to loop either. All right, and we get to pick up a territory right there. Okay, that doesn't matter for me. That matters a little bit, but Yuan Shao's already at war with us, so I don't really care. We get a building burnt by Dong Zhuo's faction council. <laughs> they put a general. Okay, into the Hulagi, Hulagi. We get the pass for free. She's not even a spy for us, so she just basically flip and be like, I want to join that faction. This other spy has told me great things about them. Did Gongsun's on land? Yes, he did. So, Sun Quan's going to stall him for as long as we want, actually. We occupy him, buy us time to take him out elsewhere. So next turn we should have enough health to take the cat. Do we have enough movement? We do not. I have an overseer. And I think we're gonna borrow the book. I I'm not sure if that will give us enough movement, but uh oh actually. Oh, rats. I don't think we can do the flip on the same turn. Oh, maybe from a different general. Yeah, yeah we can do that. Uh, the book is not going to get swapped. And that's okay. I think with reach plus this uh, 5%, 30% boost, we, we're definitely reaching that. No worries there. All right, two more turns, and the general got wiped. So that's basically ours. What happened to that army? I have no idea. But I don't think they can do anything against us. They're on the run. We're about to take this as well. It's just a matter of time. I think Sa Holden's army group here is probably what we're looking for against the Nunman faction. And probably what we're going to keep in this area. And everyone else will, will shift elsewhere. And we just have to basically push them in here. And that's his job. So basically when they're wrapped, they're probably disbanding and then getting summoned probably to the north. Back over here, I mean, I can't do anything, we just gotta wait. They also can't do anything. We picked this up for free. Um, I mean, sure. Now they basically have to go through that to get to us. Wow. I mean, none of which are factions that I'm interested in, but, um, yeah. This will probably be good now. The key, oh no, I can't do it. Well, I could do it. He would just die, right? We wouldn't, we wouldn't get him back. We basically go against the plus eight and he would just straight up die. He's gonna use him in a battle against us next turn. I think it's more valuable we take this land now, to be honest. So I know he will die because we don't have enough points because there's a pl plus eight on it, but we can force it through and he just basically gets killed. Like unless we trust that we can turn more people, we, uh, it, it is it is a possibility. All his officers are pretty angry at him, like no lies. There is definitely potential. Maybe we should just gamble. 
Wait. What? How could he not be able to target anyone? Okay. No more gambling. We're taking Guangyang. Yeah, we basically force him through. He commits. He dies. Gets discovered. And it's no big deal. Because we probably didn't want him anyways. And we reduce the army. You know, Gongsun Zan's army becomes weak. In the south. Oh, he built the military one. That's fine. Oh, no wall. Ha, perfect for looping. How did he know? Um, anyway, we're going to pump out an army here. This is going to target his northern one. Is Lu Zhi doing assignments? Oh, he's doing the satisfaction assignments. Interesting. I'm sure I can find someone else to do that. But there will be this like one turn delay in between. So I'm going to cancel her as well. And then have someone to fill his position. Yeah, I don't want to like have a turn where we just minus 10 on everyone. So I think Luger's going to join him. Or maybe Luger can be the next army. Yeah, they don't get along. It's okay. We have Vong Long. He's not... Do we want a commander? I want a strategist. I, I want a strategist who can... Have Flaming Shot tribuches. Actually, no. We're not siege attacking. So it doesn't really matter. But he would fit the bill. Okay, so... Where are you? Level 6, level 6. I saw him. There you are. He's also a little low satisfaction, so I think it's time for him to come out on the field. Another sentinel? Yeah, I mean, if we're going all crossbow, it would be fine. Yeah, trying to figure out what skill we actually want. Maybe Tenacity of Steel is what we desire. <laughs> Yuan Shu. Um, actually, why not? I don't think this army needs to be like particularly strong. We can, we can have some fun here. All right, we probably want actually cavalry on him. I don't think we need any... I mean, we'll keep the Pearl Dragon. That's a fancy unit. We're going to keep the... I think he inherited from uh, Huang Fuzong's uh, units, maybe, when Huang Fuzong died. That's what it looks like to me. I'm not a huge fan of tiger cubs. Mm, but I think we keep them. There's honestly no front line. Maybe something like this. Alright, we end up with... Five frontline units, four cavalry, a bunch of archers or crossbowmen. I think that's doable. I think we go crazy here with the setup because he's literally the only one that is generic and actually in a good position to use it. Maybe just the 15 cunning?
Yeah, Hong Fuzong is dead. We'll give him. So he's decked out. Chongbing is decked out. Xu Huang's technically decked out too. Just from his native weapon. I'll just look for stat boost. And. and nothing else really helps. I don't think he's getting anything else. I'll, I'll give him this for fun. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, um, we're going to do baby steps here. It's only tier three. The stat. Oh, my God, the units are terrible. Yeah, so potentially we can whoop him pretty easily. Yeah, this war should be interesting. Did you get a trade deal yet, my friend? No. It's gonna be like an obey where it just like never get a trade deal. Alright, so nothing's going on over there. Oh. Just when our food trade expires, it's well I don't know if we were giving him food before, but our, our monetary deal is ending. And let's just move it above five. Even Torin doesn't want to peace out anymore. No idea why, though. I mean, he's still going to bump into it, and uh, we'll still offer him that fight. Wait, why is he leading the army? We have much better choices here. Oh, oh dear. Um, let's give you a real weapon. Just some stat boosts. Do I give you a bow or do I not give you a bow? Thematically, let me give you a bow. Okay, so they do have a stack here. They could come out and fight us. I don't mind the fight. We don't have siege weapons. It makes it a little bit weird. But this is garbage. This is the only thing that's good. We have one elephant. That might be our trump card. We'll see. We might back off a little as well. Who knows how that fight's going to go. Alright, elsewhere, those are stalled. This is probably going to get weird too if he fights us. We made him weaker, and also I plan to just loop him. We have the speed to do it. All right, we're looking at 118 plus the 10 points. Oh, 25%. Oh, so we're going to be very fast. Very, very fast. Yeah, I don't think there's anything else we need to give him. And we'll just stall him as we try to take these. We've shifted those units out. We don't have to worry about that. So I guess the rest of the money is actually going to go to buildings. Not interested in any of those. Wait, she got elevated to... He has a new character, it seems. A couple of new characters. Maybe they're willing to turn. Oh, yeah. That's the opening. Zhang Fei is even wavering. Uh, I need more points now because I want more discredit faction. 
anyone ah no one's joining i guess we could gamble on this one real quick 25 points next turn mistrust two turns okay so i know he's not willing to turn code despite being low he's a low base kid everyone's minus 50 minus 50 minus 50 minus 50 so I want to target him. Okay, he doesn't turn though. Worth a shot. We'll see what happens next turn. Who knows? We did this already. We can't. I don't think we're buying any buildings. So let's just spend the money on building stuff. That is going. That is going. Yeah, we'll build that up. Once again, I assume we have most of the. Corruption ready out of the way. I envision we'll have money left over. I said most, not all. I don't think we're upgrading this. I don't want walls. It's going to make it harder to defend. All right, we don't touch Guanyin. We don't touch Loya, even though we did pick up Hulagate. Gate. I don't think that changes anything. I don't think Loyon's good for us to keep, because especially since they're, we traded away the trade war already. It's just like, what can we get for it? And right now we just don't have many trade partners except for Liu Bei. And Liu Bei doesn't have any land that I actually want. He's green, light green. I can pick up this farm. It doesn't do anything for us, that's the thing. Like, like I can pick up a lot of little pieces, but like I don't want them. That this was a good move, so we'll see. Let's continue here. We saved 10k. We don't even have to mess with the taxes. Even though, I mean, Guangling's so, so plus 12, and plus we're getting rid of it. Sing dual devastation because it just got burned, or also be minus one. The support, we just got this. Yeah, there we're pretty much net negative one with the population setup right now. We're going to have to look for maybe something to just give us two points. I think there's plenty of options. Like plus three public order right here. If we get a temple to unlock that one. Maybe we don't have a lot of options. That's like the only option. A temple building. And then unlock it. But I'm so close to this. We're not, we're not switching off. If I have to lower taxes in the future, I'll lower taxes in the future. Who cares? I have one more summon, though. I might use it. Probably want to use it here. Where? Oh, oh, we do have... We reached our army limit? Bummer. Um, I know that Guangling is going to become the next... No, this, this is going to become the next one before them. Uh, so I can't do the Administrator plus one army thing right now. Yeah, it's okay. Let's just not use it then. Once the war over here ends, we can kind of shave down a couple armies. Yeah, Gongsuzan's here. Uh, we're looping him. We'll showcase a little bit of this because this will be an interesting map to do it on. He also has a lot of range units uh, on the horseback too, so speed is on his side. He is attacking from two directions, no matter. Um, we'll go out from here. I have... Yeah, I'm going to go from over here. I don't know if I can stay hidden here. Maybe I can. I don't know if I'm looping to win or I'm looping to draw. Okay, so he matched me in terms of speed. I'm 143 with a plus 25%, so I don't know. He can't really catch me. So my job is to just be annoying. Make him think about coming at me. As long as I don't capture that one, I can probably move this way. Yeah, they're just going to charge out. 
Yeah, the horse archers aren't even gonna shoot me. They're gonna capture that gate, but so... Oh no, they're not. <laughs> Their cavalries are so fast, they can't capture during the time of charging out. Did they capture, they capture that one? Okay. I want them to come out first. The infantry's probably walked slow enough to capture it. Yep, they did. Don't you know that Wedge slows you down? Oh, he's Diamond. It still slows you down. Okay, they're out, right? They're all out. Perfect. So come with me to this gate. It's also a flatter land right here, so the towers can shoot. It's not like an incline on this side where half of it's out of vision. I don't know if I can kill all of them in 40 minutes. I can probably kill most of them. Yeah, nature's ally is pretty underrated. It's like the middle skill, you go up, pick meditation, and your general is pretty much like untouchable in these situations. Go to work, go to work, go to work. Yeah, we'll drag him between these two. I don't even care about that one. He's pretty wide. It's hard to loop back. Well, there goes that guy. I guess it would be helpful to capture that. Oh, but they went inside. Yeah, that's annoying. But it's okay, it's cavalry. They're not fast enough to actually capture. So when they come out, they won't capture it either. I can actually loop around. Perfect. Yeah, this is good. So we have these three sets to kill them. Even if they don't come out, it's fine. We can go back and kill them if they're the only units left. I have units, just not using them. Perfect. Perfect. Yeah, they're doomed. Um... I don't know if we can kill all of them in this battle, but they're not going to be very happy at the end of this thing. There's their second cavalry gone. They're going to lose every single cavalry on this side. He's dying too. He has resiliency though. Let me kill one, maybe two, maybe three. All right, let's go back. I think less than like 5% it should be wiped. Three, oh, it's 10%. Um, uh, maybe, maybe it's wiped. Probably should have tried to kill another one. We don't do enough damage. I should give him a weapon, a real weapon. Is that a... Oh, that's a oh right. He's a he's an emperor, right? Aren't you special? Oh, good luck. You and your dreadbringer. It'd be hilarious if we capture him here. and then execute them. That would be something. He's just tanking the arrows, look in the front. It's like, I show up first, I take damage in for my troops. Alright. 
When Dean's out of here. It's actually good that he doesn't die. Oh, they're rivals. I mean, Golden Zao is a terrible person in real life. I can understand why you don't like him. Yeah, army loss will kick in. He's not unbreakable, so we got this very soon. Do they give up? They're not even moving. Oh, look at that cavalry. So cute. Thinking catch us with 143 speed. Good luck. All right, we're going to make sure your shield is facing the wrong way. And then the forest will slow you down, but not me, because I have nature's ally. Yeah, these trees are perfectly designed for me to just like loop them. Ooh, charge speed. Still not fast enough with charge speed to catch me. Oh, they touched me. Too bad. That's it. Army loss kicked in. Oh, let's see if I can do some damage on him. It's fine. You know, we let them get away. We have some mercy. I mean, the easiest change for this in future games is just what they have done in most Total War games. If there's no unit in the area, the towers can't fire. Such seems like such an easy change, but I'm not complaining. Heroic victory, here we come. Let us capture their emperor. Maybe. Nope. I'll take money. Yeah, now he's really in trouble. Like, how is he going to beat me? He's stuck behind enemy lines with no way to heal, attritioning away. Stop coming. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, no, he's not grabbing the, the garrison. If he was grabbing the garrison, we'll take it. But we'll delegate against him. Sure. Capture him? Question mark? Oh, not again. All right, I think we're going to end the episode here. We'll come back next episode at the end of this battle. Oh, they... Wait, they can't do that. How do they add him into the army in my territory? Right, that's... that's. Oh, no, no, he probably just walked back into his territory. He, he, went, he was in my territory, but he probably walked into his territory and then added him and then attacked me. That makes more sense. So he's a fresh add, right? You can see all the units. Yeah, like I said, we're going to use this as a save point. This episode's a little bit long, and this is very boring to show. Um, we're basically going to outlast him. Even though the Delegate took a lot of our health, we're still unbreakable. It's not really going to change much. And uh, we're two turns away from taking this. And we'll see you guys then. Uh, we're in a war with Gong Sun Zan, which was a bit unexpected, but got to start that Kingdom War sometime. And now is probably the best time. Well, not the best time, but why not? So until then, bye.